Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back. So today we're doing a 2019 um, general forecast, okay? Um, we're going to have five options today. I'm hoping that the readings are going to be kind of quick. I'm not trying to go like super in-depth today. Um, I just want this to be, you know, a fun little look into what 2019 is going to be bringing our way. All right, so the first choice is uh, citrine, okay? Option two is Dalmatian Jasper. Group three is Tiger's Eye. Group four is Aventurine. And group five is the Balanced Chakra Crystal, okay? So those are going to be your choices. Um, Go ahead and think about which one you want to choose, and while you're doing that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. It really means a lot to me. Um, as of this morning, I'm really, really close to 2,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Initially, I just wanted to have 1,000 by the end of this year, and now I almost have I, now I almost have double that. So. Thank you so much um, for everybody who has been supporting me. Um, I hope you all had a lovely holiday. I hope you guys have a great new year. Um, you guys have been keeping me kind of busy with personal readings for the last couple of days. Um, and, then, and then I had to take a, a little break to um, recharge a bit. Um, but now I'm ready to uh, dive back in and I'm going to try to turn out some more pick of cards for you guys. I'm probably going to put up a poll for, uh, you know, which what videos you guys want to see next because um, I've gotten a lot of requests. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And as always, remember, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate with everybody who sees them. If you feel like the message doesn't apply for you and your situation, then it wasn't meant for you, and that's that on that. We're just here to have some fun. So, all that said, I hope you've made your choice. If not, go ahead and pause the video, and we're going to go ahead and get started with Group 1. All right, Group 1, if you chose the Citrine, what is 2019 bringing your way? So, your overall energy for the coming year is new beginnings. So, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of transformation happening this year. We have the death card. Of course, this is all about endings and new beginnings, transformations, okay? Um, it's like when one door closes, another door opens. And we also have two new moon cards here. New Moon in Aries, New Moon in Capricorn, and we have an Ace. All right, so there's a lot of new, 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 new energy coming in. And I'm also feeling something that you have been carrying with you this past year is going to be coming to an end, all right, because we have this full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches, all right. Something... Some st stage, some phase of your life that you've been in is going to be coming to an end this year, and I feel like it's going to be coming very soon because we also have peaceful resolution, all right? So whatever you've been going through um, this past year is going to be resolved, okay? Um, I'm definitely seeing the need to release whatever energy you've been carrying all around with you this year, okay? Um, so that you can really make this new start and you can begin to recover from whatever has been going on in your life um, until now, all right? We also have the Free Yourself card. It's time to take back control of your life. So I feel like a lot of you guys this year have been dealing with, I don't know, something or someone who's just been really draining your energy, that's been really um, creating a lot of conflict in your life. 
and I definitely feel like whatever that situation is, it's going to be resolved. And it could be, for a lot of you, it could have been with a love interest because um, we do have the no card directly underneath the wedding card. So some of you guys could have been in a relationship with somebody that um, has begun to fall apart and, um, you know, somebody that maybe you thought that you were going to spend the rest of your life with or something and it's just fallen apart and now you're kind of lost. You're kind of, you're not sure what to do next. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, okay. I feel like for a number of you that is the case. You, you've been through a breakup this year with somebody that you thought you were going to, you know, be with for a long time. And it something happened and it hasn't worked out. It's just broken apart. And now you're kind of confused. You're kind of lost. You're, like, really unsure of what to do now. Um, but this year, I'm definitely seeing that this is going to be a year of recovery, like I said, a year of letting go of, um, you know, the past, and I'm really seeing you moving forward, we've got the chariot card here, I'm really seeing you moving forward, and, you know, leaving this all behind, freeing yourself from this shitty, disappointed, you know, defeated state of mind that you're in. I feel like some of you guys have, um, some of you struggle with, like, your self-worth. Okay, you might not, whatever the situation was that has happened, maybe has left you feeling like you're never gonna, maybe has left you feeling like you're gonna be alone forever or something. Um, but that's not true because, I mean, we have if you believe here, which is basically saying that anything is possible if you only believe that it is possible for you, all right? And we have all of these cards that are talking about new starts. So, I mean, that's, I, 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 there's not even that much to say about that, you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be meeting somebody new this year if you have been through a breakup, okay? Um, this card, New Moon in Aries, it's time to take action. Um, this card can literally talk about a new, um, a new person entering your life, okay? And we also have getting to know each other. So definitely, I'm feeling like if nothing else, you're going to be making a lot of new connections, like a lot of new friendships this year, okay? And we also have the engagement card. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to meet a new person who you're going to end up dating, maybe getting into, like, a, um, a real committed relationship with by the end of this, by the end of 2019, okay? Um... And I feel like it'll be something very, uh, very stable and healthy and, you know, good communication between the two of you. Um, or this can also just be talking about, uh, you know, the fact that you're going to be meeting a lot of new people in general. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be meeting a lot of, making a lot of new friends who you're going to connect with just on a really deep um, level, okay, and it's going to be like, they're going to be people who are actually going to invest in you, okay, some of you guys have had friends in the past that weren't really very good friends, you know, um, but the people you're going to meet this year are going to be like, they're going to put just as much effort into your friendship as you are, you know what I mean, they're going to put effort into you, they're going to invest in your relationship, okay? So that's exciting. 
And I think I'm going to pull one more card for you, okay? Kindred Spirits and Intuition. Yeah, what did I say about connecting with new people? Okay, I think you're going to meet a lot of kindred spirits in this coming year. People that you're going to just connect with on a really profound level. Like, maybe not, they might not necessarily be like soul family, okay? But, you know, they're going to be people that you just click with immediately, that just get you. You know, you get them, they get you, and it's like, it's going to feel like you've known them forever, okay? And we also have intuition, so some of you, I feel, your intuition has been telling you these things, but you've been having doubts about, you know, your self-worth and about, you know, your ability to meet new people and get out there and start new things. Um, but basically, this is just saying that you need to listen to your intuition. And also, I'm getting that for some of you, if your intuition is telling you to do something or go somewhere, um that you should do it because it's trying to lead you towards these opportunities to start towards these opportunities for these new beginnings okay but yeah overall this is definitely going to be a year of transformation I'm really seeing you guys coming out of your shell I'm really seeing you guys you know rebuilding your self-esteem I'm seeing you guys letting go, releasing the the energy of your past that's been weighing you down, like your ex or past um, ex-friends or whatever the case may be, okay? This is going to be a year of recovery, and it's going to be a year where you're going to really... You know, it's going to be like a caterpillar to butterfly kind of transformation, you know, I, I, you've been in your cocoon for a long time, I think. And this is going to be the year that you emerge as a beautiful butterfly. And look, we've got butterflies in this card. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what I'm getting here. Definitely movement. Definitely new things starting for you. Definitely new people coming into your life. Um, definitely... If you're still involved with somebody or some situation that, you know, has been bad for you, that has been toxic for you, um, that's definitely going to be ending, I, I think, pretty early in the year. And you're going to be releasing that and you're going to be letting that go. You're going you're gonna to walk away from it and not look back, okay? You're going to move on with your life. You're going to be like the chariot. You're going to move forward and you're not going to look back. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be glad that you're not looking back. Okay, so group one, that's your reading. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep this kind of short. You know, I'm not trying to get too too deep into you know your what's going on this year. Um, but I hope it gave you uh, some encouragement. I hope it gives you this gave you something to look forward to in 2019. And uh, let me know what you thought. If this resonated with you, I would love to hear it. I like reading you guys' comments. <clears throat> Sorry my voice sounds like this. I think I might be starting to get sick or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. We're going to move on now to group number two. Okay, you guys, if you chose Group 2, the um, Dalmatian Jasper, what is 2019 bringing your way? Um, so, I'm seeing a lot of you guys in the start of the year um, moving away from something that is no longer serving you. Or maybe it never did serve you, and you were just holding on to it because... You wanted it so badly to work out, um, but it just didn't. And now you're moving away from that, that situation, that person, whatever the case may be. And you're kind of sad about it, but I think you've realized that it has to be done. You have to move on from it because it's not going anywhere. 
for a lot of you, I think this is re um, talking about a relationship that you've been in, or um, maybe even a relationship that never even really got off the ground, okay? If that's the case, if you've been dealing with somebody that you wanted to get involved with, but it just, it, it just never went anywhere, and now you're moving away from that, um, you need to know that there is a reason why you've, this situation is, has been met with a big no, okay? Um, there is a reason why you have had to wait. Um, I feel like the timing has not been right for this person. I feel like for a lot of you this has some type of past life relationship, some past life connection. Um, so just know that this person is probably going to come back around eventually, but right now the timing's just not right. The timing's just off and you're, you've got to move on and I think you know that. Okay. Um, and we have let go of control issues. So this card always makes me think of divine timing. Um, it always makes me, well, on the card it says allow the situation to unfold naturally. You know, some of us are kind of control freaks and we want what we want when we want it. But, you know, the universe usually has other plans. And this card is just a reminder that we have to allow things to happen in their own time. You know, we can't rush things. We can't force things um, to happen when they're just not when they're just not meant to happen, you know what I mean? Because when we force things, when we try to force things, um, it doesn't work, you know? Uh, so if you're dealing with somebody, or if you've been dealing with somebody, um, and it's gotten you down and you're kind of upset about having to move away from them, just know that you, they're probably going to come back around. They're probably going to come back into your life at some point. Um, I feel like it's not over <laughs> between you. Okay, so, um, don't, don't worry about that. I'm feeling like a lot of you miss this person. Because they made you happy. And you recognized that, you know, you recognized the connection that you had, um... But you also recognized that nothing was, it wasn't going anywhere. And, and that makes you kind of sad. But don't worry about it because they're going to come back around eventually. Um, but in the meantime, uh, your overall energy for the year is freedom. So this is going to be a year, I feel like you're going to be just doing your own thing this year. Like, this is going to be the year where you really kind of step out of your comfort zone and take stuff on, you know, grab life by the horns, that kind of thing, okay? We have don't let your past hold you back. So, this is basically saying, if there's something new that you want to try, or if there's something you want to do, some kind of project you want to start, um, maybe even like a business, like a small business, and maybe in the past whenever you've tried to do something big and ambitious it hasn't worked out and so now you're discouraged and you feel like you know every time I try to do something like this it hasn't worked out in the past so it's probably not going to work out next time so why bother trying um you got to release that mentality you got to let that mentality go because I feel like this is really the year um for you guys to start putting things into action. Like, if there's anything that you've been wanting to do, this is the year to do it. It's like the timing is right, okay? You're being asked, um, you know, to put your faith in the universe, believe in the impossible, okay? Um, balance spirituality and practicality. This card is telling me um, that it's going to be important for you to listen to your intuition this year. So, like... Take actions towards your goals, um, but remember to, 
listen to your your intuition listen to your guides listen to you know whatever or whoever that you pray to um that kind of thing because the universe is like trying to help you it it wants to put you on the right track you just have to be listening for for its advice basically um and we also have nothing is yet set in stone so i like this card because it it means that whatever you set out to do you're not destined to have any particular result you know you're not destined to fail you're not destined to succeed and i think that's a beautiful thing because you know our our fates are changeable you know nothing is guaranteed um we all have free will and energies are always changing <coughs> so you know you aren't guaranteed to succeed at whatever you do but you're not guaranteed to fail at it either and that's a beautiful thing okay um so yeah this year i feel like it's just going to be it's going to be very much about stepping out of your comfort zone and realizing that you have the freedom to do whatever you want you have the freedom to achieve the impossible or what you believed was impossible Um and we also have uh stay optimistic about your love life and we have heart to heart conversations. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be meeting somebody new this year, a new love interest that you're really going to hit it off with, okay? And um I know I have the feeling that a lot of you guys have had to move away from somebody, you know, recently that you really did care about and you might be thinking like well if i can't have them i don't really want anybody but i think you're going to meet somebody else that is going to change your mind about that <laughs> okay um let's see i feel like i want to pull one more card out of here for you guys it's coming it's coming it's coming towards group 2 this year surrender yeah this is another card about divine timing for me um like i was saying earlier you've got to you have to surrender to the universe's timing okay we can't force things to work we can't you know we can't make things happen when they're not meant to be happening um so just go with the flow this year just remember to allow yourself to flow wherever the universe takes you. Um and we also have within the next few weeks. So, I think that for many of you, uh within the next few weeks of you watching this, okay? Um something is things are going to start changing. You know that the wheel of fortune is going to start turning in your favor. All right? um you could be meeting this new person you could be um you could be presented with an opportunity to start up your project your business whatever it is that you've been thinking about starting up okay um so within the next few weeks i think that things are really going to start moving for you in a lot of ways okay um so yeah group 2 i think i'm going to leave it at that That's your reading like I said I didn't want to get super in depth you know I wanted to keep this video um or keep these readings uh kind of short so you know I just wanted to give you guys a little peek into what 2019 has in store for you and uh I hope you enjoyed it I hope that this gave you some encouragement something to look forward to and thanks for watching I hope I see you next time group 2. We're going to move on now to group number 3. All right you guys, group 3. If you chose the tiger's eye, what's coming your way in 2019? So, you guys got two cards for the overall energy of the year. We got celebration and choice. So, definitely I'm feeling like this is going to be a really good year for you guys. Um there's going to be a lot of things going on in your lives that are going to be worth you know celebrating um you're going to be having some good times i think uh 
And this is also going to be a year that's going to be, you know, all about choice. Um, choosing which direction you, you want to go, okay? Now, I'm getting two separate messages here for you guys. Um, one of them is related to, um, relationships and the other is related, uh, I mean, I guess it could still be about relationships, but I feel like it's more work related, you know, or, um, you know, just life in, in general. Uh, so I'm going to start with that one. We've got, um, we have it's time to take action here. This is New Moon in Aries. Um, this is a card that is all about, you know, figuring out where you want to go and, you know, moving on, like going at it full steam ahead, okay? And right below that, we have pay attention to the red flags and choose a new direction. So I feel like coming into 2019, a lot of you guys are possibly confused about, you know, uh, where, where, what you should be doing right now. Um, some of you may have lost your job. Um, some of you might be considering starting a new job, starting up a small business, becoming self-employed, something like that. But you're not sure um, what exactly you should do. Or, alternatively... You guys have been putting effort into something that is just not, it's just not going to pan out for you guys. And I feel like, you know, the signs have been trying to caution you, but maybe you've been trying to ignore them, put your blinders on, you know, like, I can't see this, um, this is going to work out, but the universe is saying that you should choose a new direction. You need to, um... Scrap whatever this is that you've been working towards because uh, it's not going to work out right now. Um, we got the no card. So, you know, and maybe you've been so persistent in about, you know, this is going to work. I'm going to make this work um, because you feel like it's your only option. But that's not the case. You know, you've got to release that mentality. You have a lot of other options here. Um and, you know, you have the choice to try something else because you can, you know, you you have the skills, you have the talents, you have the, the knowledge to succeed in pretty much, pretty much whatever you set out to do, I think. Um, <clears throat> so, you just got to trust that um, the universe is going to take care of you when you, you know, take this risk in, in trying something new, um, putting your energy into something different, changing, shifting your focus away from what you've been working towards and toward something, something brand new. Okay, we've got three of pentacles here. This is about um, laying down a groundwork, building a foundation, okay? So I'm seeing that you guys are going to be working hard this year working really hard, but it's going to pay, uh, pay off for you, I think. Um, okay, now, as far as the love message goes, we've got communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Some of you maybe have been um, waiting on somebody to make a decision or waiting to hear from somebody. I feel like that communication is going to be coming in for a lot of you, I feel like it's going to be in late winter, early spring. I'm feeling like March, maybe February. Okay. Um, we have this could be the one. So this is, I feel for a lot of you, this is somebody that you already know. Um, that you've already met the partner that you seek. And we have big, happy changes. So whatever your connection is like with this person already it's going to be changing in in really positive ways okay um and over here we've got the energy is gaining momentum we have passion so if you've been 
with somebody or you've been dealing with somebody, you know, dating somebody, and it feels like it's just not going anywhere, feels like it's stagnant, it feels like it's never going to get off the ground, um, just know that there is... There are things happening, but they're happening behind the scenes, okay? They might be happening, you know, in your person's head. You know, they're um, figuring stuff out. And because the, there, there are feelings there, and I think they they do want you. They do like you. Um, but there's, they're trying to figure stuff out, and they're, they're moving, but they're moving slowly. Um, if... If this message applies for you, this isn't going to be for everybody who picks this option. Um, but if this is applicable for you, I think you'll know because we have to look for a sign. And if you've been waiting for a signal to wait on somebody or to move on, um, this is the sign. Okay. Saying that if you want to wait, it will be worth it, all right? You won't have to wait for too much longer. Because things are happening. They're just happening, you know, where you can't see them. This guy's got plants that are, um, and most of the growth is still underground. It hasn't surfaced yet. So, you know, things are happening. You just can't see them yet, all right? And we also have the Page of Cups. So, definitely I'm seeing some kind of offer being made, and uh, it, it's not going to be like a big thing, I don't think, but it will be something. It will be progress from where you've been, alright? Um, and I feel like it'll be fun, it'll be um, really light-hearted, okay? I feel like you're going to have a really good time this year, you guys, who chose option three. Um, and, yeah, I think I'm going to end your reading there. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to go too deep, you know, with this reading. I wanted it to be kind of short. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little peek into what 27, uh, what 2019 is going to be bringing your way. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gives you something to um, look forward to in the new year. And uh if this reading resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I love to read you guys' comments. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I see you next time, group three. And we're going to move on now to option number four. All right, group four, what is 2019 bringing your way? So, for your overall energy for the year... We, you got two cards. Um, group three also got two cards. You have beauty and adventure. So, this is going to be a year of, um, I think, stepping out of your comfort zone, trying new things, going on adventures, all kinds of adventures, um, and not just traveling. But for some of you, I think you will be doing a lot of traveling this year. Um, but also adventures in the sense of, like, trying something new and ambitious in terms of your career. Trying something new and ambitious in terms of relationships. Um, that kind of thing. Okay? And beauty is like... This card is making me feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of abundance into your life this year. Okay? You guys are operating... Um, at a very high vibrational frequency, okay? Your energy is so, so light, okay, you guys? And that's just going to be, that's just going to be drawing people towards you. It's going to be drawing um, opportunities towards you, all kinds of stuff. Um, you also got a bonus uh, Moonology card. This is the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. So, um... Some of you guys maybe have not had the easiest time this past year in 2018, um, but whatever issues you've been dealing with, those cycles are going to be ending if they haven't already, because um, this energy feels very present, so you may already be undergoing this ending of this cycle. Okay? So the main message here I feel like is relating to uh, relationships, okay? 
We have worth waiting for. We have calling in your soulmate. We have forgiveness. We have a new romantic cycle begins. Okay. Um, and we also have the Five of Swords and the Three of Cups over here. I will talk about those in a moment. Um, somebody... You're going to be dealing with somebody this year who is probably a soulmate of some sort who you have probably had some issues with because we have the forgiveness card. I think that um, you're going to be presented with an opportunity this year to forgive this person and to decide um, whether you want to give them another chance or whether you want to move on from them. Either way, I think that the outcome will be good because if you do decide to give them another chance we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life um, and over here we also have not the right time so the reason you've had issues with this person in the past is because it wasn't the right time for you guys to be together um, and when they come back towards you or when you you know when you guys um, make amends if that's what you choose to do the timing will be more, you'll have a greater chance of the relationship working out because, you know, the planets are aligned, okay? That's what they just told me. Um, the planets are aligned for you guys to be together. Um, and when that time comes, I think you'll know. I feel like a lot of you are not in communication with this person. And when the time is right, they're going to come back towards you, okay? And a new romantic cycle will begin. This is New Moon in Libra. So this is a new start, a brand new beginning with this person or if you choose to move away from them. Um, I do feel like there, there will be somebody new that you will have an opportunity to connect with. Okay. Now, some of you guys have been held back a lot in the past by fear. Okay, feeling like, feeling like you aren't good enough, feeling like you'd have no chance of succeeding at whatever you set out to do, feeling like, feeling like you can't, feeling like you need other people to help you. Um, I feel like you've struggled with independence, you know, you've struggled with having the faith in yourself that you can do whatever you know I feel like you guys maybe are or at least in the past you were the type of people who who didn't do things who didn't seize opportunities you were given solely because you didn't think that you would be able to do it you didn't think you'd be good at the job you didn't think that th this person would like you you know that kind of thing but I really feel like in this coming year, you're, you're um, going to be freeing yourself from that mentality, okay? Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys have already started this because uh, you're, you're ready, I think, to begin taking control of your life. Um, and luck is on your side, okay? The universe has your back. And... You've been working on building up your independence. You've been working on, you know, building up your self-esteem. You know, learning that you're capable. You're good enough. You can do the things that you want to do. You can achieve uh, whatever you set out to do, you know. Um... I feel like a lot of you guys this year are going to be experiencing some changes in your work situation, um, whether that's starting a new job or getting a promotion. A lot of you guys, I feel like, are going to be um, becoming self-employed or starting up a new business, um, and I've been getting that for most of these readings today, which is interesting. Um, but basically, you have to believe that anything is possible, okay? Because if you don't believe, then it, it won't happen, for sure. Um, and understand that nothing is yet set in stone. Uh, I think it was group two that got this card as well. And, 
you know, like I told them, this card is like, this is one of my favorite cards um, in this deck because it's like, nothing is guaranteed, okay? You're not guaranteed to succeed at whatever you set out to do, but you're not guaranteed to fail either, you know? Um, we have free will, um, energies are always changing, you know, the universe is like the ocean, you know, it's flowing, it's constantly, it's fluid, you know, it's always moving. Um, everything we do has an impact on what is yet to come. So, really, anything is possible. And then we also have the Three of Cups here. So, again, I really feel like you guys are, um, I feel like you guys are going to have a really good year. Very abundant. I feel like you guys are going to be making a lot of connections, you know, building, uh, rebuilding old friendships, making new friends. Getting involved with uh, your communities in different ways. And meeting new people that way okay it's just gonna be a year of new adventures for you guys like I said traveling and you know just trying out new things starting new hobbies you know that can be an adventure um, going to different places in your own town like that you've never been to before adventures like that too it can be big adventures it can be small adventures and I feel like you're gonna have some of both this year all right group four so, um, that's your reading. I think I'm going to end it there. Um, like I said, I don't want to, I didn't want to go like super in depth with this. I just wanted it to be kind of quick, you know, give you a little peek into what the new year has in store for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If it resonated with you, please let me know. I love to hear from you guys. I love reading your comments. Um, and I hope this reading gave you something to look forward to in the new year. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I see you guys next time. We're going to move on now to group number five. All right, group five. If you chose the balanced chakra stone, what is 2019 bringing your way? So it's really interesting because a lot of, Pretty much all the readings that I've done today have had really similar messages. And this one is no different, honestly. Um, for your overall energy for the year, we've got um, the Strength card and we have Guardian Angel. So with the Guardian Angel card, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, if somebody, if you've had a loved one who's passed away recently, like within the last couple of years, um, I'm getting that they are going to be looking out for you this year. Um, I feel like they've always been looking out for you, but they're going to be looking out for you especially this year because there are some big changes coming for you. We have the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Okay. Um, and uh, we also have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So whatever negativity, whatever um, baggage you've been carrying around, we're leaving that in 2018, okay? We're not bringing that into the new year with us, all right? Um, I feel like this is going to be a year for you guys for retreating. We have the retreat card. Um, it's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like this is going to be a year for you guys to step back and recover from whatever has been going on this past year and in, in years prior. I feel like a lot of you guys have... A lot of you guys have been um, kind of running yourselves ragged, okay? Because you want to... You want to have control over, you know, everything. I feel like a lot of you guys are in positions where you have a great deal of authority, you have a great deal of responsibility, and that could be in work, that could be with your family, um, take that however it resonates with you, but I think that whatever the case is, a lot of you guys haven't had a lot of time to, you know, step back and recharge and take care of yourselves and make sure that you're not, you know, pushing yourself too hard, okay? 
Um, and I feel like that's going to be, like, your focus for this year. Um, kind of ducking out a little bit to recharge and re rebuild your strength, you know, re uh, rediscover your own inner strength, all right? Because I feel like a lot of you guys are tired. You're just tired. There's just this really weary energy with this reading, okay? We have the honeymoon card, so I think some of you are going to be traveling. You're going to go on vacation, and that's going to be part of your recovery process, okay? Um, with this wedding card, I don't feel like this is talking about actual weddings, although some of you could be going to weddings this year. Um, but I feel like... For most of you, this is talking about some type of contract that you're that you've been involved in or that has been affecting you in some way. Okay, or some kind of contract that you will be getting into this year. I feel like for a lot of you it does have to do with work. I feel like a lot of you guys who chose this option are like caregivers of some kind. Either your, your parents, you have a lot of children to take care of, or, you know, family members to take care of, um, sick people to take care of, something like that. I feel like this has something to do with that. Okay. But what, whatever the case is, I feel like this year is going to be more peaceful than um, past the past few years have been for you. I feel like things are going to calm down a little bit. Um, we have here luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So, uh, I feel like you're going to be rewarded in some way for all the hard work that you've put in. Because Capricorn is all about work. Capricorn is a uh, very hardworking energy, and I feel like that that's been you for a long time now. Now the universe is going to reward you somehow for all the effort that you've made, that you, that you have put towards, um, that you've put towards your work or your family or whatever it is that um, occupies your time the most. You know, take it however it applies to you. I also feel like some of your past loved ones, you know, your loved ones who have passed on, are going to be trying to communicate with you this year, or they are trying to communicate with you now. Um, they're trying to give you signs, and I'm not sure exactly, you know, what, what it is that they want to tell you, because this is, you know, this reading is for a lot of people, but be on the lookout for signs um, that some of your loved ones might be trying to contact you, okay? Uh, for some of you, it could be, I'm getting, like, butterflies. Some For some of you, butterflies might have some kind of significance. If you see butterflies, um, or if you start seeing them a lot, that could be a sign that somebody from the other side is trying to tell you something, and you'll know who it is, I guess, um, if if there's somebody that you associate with butterflies, I don't know. Um, that's just one one th message that specifically that I'm getting. What is this? Uh, what's this engagement card about? Which deck do I want to use? Engagement and time to take action. I'm not quite sure what those cards are saying. I feel like this new moon in Aries card, it's time to take action. This is like, basically, um, it's time for you to stop neglecting your own well-being. Okay. We've got in the near future here. This came out. We have abundance. Okay. I feel like this engagement card is kind of going along with this abundance card. This is like, things are going to uh, turn around for you this year. Like I was saying, I feel like a lot of you guys have been really run ragged the last few years, you know, between 
stuff going on in probably every area of your life, work, family, relationships, everything. But I feel like things are going to start turning around this year in a lot of ways. This is like, this engagement card, this is like a promise. This is a promise from the universe that things are going to start changing for the better for you, okay? In the near future. So you're not going to have to wait long for um, this energy of change to really start picking up and really start becoming obvious to you okay I feel like I need to pull one more card out of here we have awakening okay we got centering intuition and healing this is going to be a year of healing for you i think um but also i feel some of you are going to be awakening to your intuition all right um and this goes along with this guardian angel card and this look for a sign card um the universe and you know your your deceased loved ones they have a lot of messages for you that they are wanting to tell you um so it's going to be important this year that you practice um, fine-tuning your intuition and, you know, you keep your keep a lookout for signs, um, for messages, okay, because there's going to be some coming your way if they're not already, okay. And um, centering, this card is just, again, reiterating the need for you to take better care of yourself, okay, to ground yourself, you know, take steps towards keeping a level head, you know, not letting your stress and anxiety get you all out of whack energetically, okay? So, group five. I think I'm going to end it there. Um, like I said with the other groups, I didn't want this reading to be super in-depth. I just wanted to give you guys a little peek into what uh, 2019 is going to be bringing in for you. Um, and I, I think it's going to be a pretty good year. Um, a lot of these readings, though, had really similar messages. So, you know, things changing, leaving uh, negativity behind, you know, ending of cycles, new cycles beginning. So I don't know what kind of cosmic energies are at work right now. Um, but, you know... I, something big something it's something big that to be affecting you know so many people in such similar ways so anyway i'm not sure what that's all about but i hope you enjoyed this reading if it resonated with you feel free to let me know i love to read you guys's comments and um thanks so much for watching if you're from a previous group and you're still here thanks for sticking around um I really appreciate all of the feedback that I've gotten from you guys. Um, if you would like to purchase a private reading with me, you can do that by going to my Etsy store. The link is in the description box. You can also send me um, a donation. My PayPal link is in the description as well. Any donations I receive will go towards improving the channel, improving the quality of my videos, buying new decks, etc. Yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. I hope you guys have a great new year. And like I said, I'm going to be putting up a poll so you guys can decide what reading, uh, what pick a card you guys want to see next. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great new year. I'll see you around. Bye.